Good morning, everyone. In case you came in a side door or really early this morning and didn't have anybody look you in the eye and say, good morning, thank you for coming, or nice to have you here, let me be that person. Good morning, thank you for coming, and we're excited to have you here. Like Mike Salvareza did just a second ago, I'd like to welcome you. Welcome you to Chicago, welcome you to this beautifully fully renovated Chicago Marriott Downtown Hotel, and welcome you to the MER Conference 2019. It's really interesting the fact that the hotel has just completed a two-year comprehensive renovation, while at the same time, the MER Conference has undergone a two-year transformation. It was just one year ago, we were in this very room amongst the first groups to actually use this renovated space. At that time, you learned about and met the new MER Conference leadership. You heard of our mission and our vision. You were introduced to our marvelous new logo and communication style and some of the new products that we've launched in the last year. Today, we assemble again one year later. The Marriott has completed its renovations with a new lobby. All the rooms are freshened up in, in delightful form, a uh, new bar, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And Mike and I are here to tell you that yet there's more new things coming from the MER conference. We talked about the escape room, some exciting workshops, new programs for keynotes, etc. The transformation continues at the MER conference, and we rely on you to help us, guide us in that area with your feedback, and we greatly appreciate that. Regarding this parallel feedback, or excuse me, this parallel track that we seem to be on with the, with the hotel and their uh, renovations, I can only say this. I don't know what they're gonna do in the next year, but if they're gonna keep up with us, maybe they're gonna be building up or something, but there, there are things to do for them. This likely could be the understatement of the era. The fact that information governance and those who practice it and those who implement it has, does, and will significantly impact organizations' business bottom line and achieving their objectives is, the, like I said, the understatement of the century. You can't walk through a corporate office today, down the halls, without hearing conversations about things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, GDPR, moving data to the cloud, moving data from the cloud, privacy, e-discovery, new technologies. It's a constant and ongoing discussion. And as all of you know, the idea of exquisite information governance is not lost on executive leadership nor management. But what they might not be as sensitive to is the amount of work and professionalism and drive it takes for those of you who actually implement that to do that. And in recognition of that personal effort, drive, and knowledge, I want to commit to you that I know that the MER conference speakers and our solution providers that you'll meet next door, they know, they understand, and they're with you in this boat to help you accomplish our mission, which is to equip the records, excuse me, to equip the information governance practicing community to more meaningfully impact your organization's business objectives. That's what gets us up every morning, is to pull things together, to orchestrate things, to help you more meaningfully impact your organization's business objectives. So as Mike said, meet somebody. I say, you're going to experience as many as 60 different speakers. Uh, let me see, 30 plus different sessions, 18 hours of content, 12 hours of networking. There's a lot of stuff. You'd have to be a savant to actually capture it all, right? But what I invite you to do is to find one thing. Okay, find two things. We have two hands. Find two things to bring back to your organization. Maybe it's a relationship that you met sitting right here. Maybe it's someone, something that resulted from a conversation in the park at one of the many networking events that we host for you. Bring that one thing back to your organization and make a difference. There's no question you can, will, and do, but that's my offer to you. That's my challenge to you. Find that one thing. 
I'm comfortable that we're going to be successful in that. And I'm comfortable in that for the following reasons. Last year, on the last day on the departure, we did what most folks do is we do a survey and we ask you 16 ways from Sunday, how did we do? I'll summarize that in these three results. First, one in two of you met a solution provider that helped you with an existing problem before the end of the year. Half of you met someone who could help you with an existing problem before the end of the year. Others, 95% of you, found an answer to a problem that you had right here and now. And 85% of you identified a problem or a challenge that you didn't know existed and found a solution for it. So I'm, exciting for, I'm excited for what you're going to gain while you're here. So a question then comes, Seth, Mike, how do you do that? Mike touched on many of these things. I'll go a little bit deeper into them. The first one is engagement. Next is what's new. We do new things. And lastly, value. How is it that we know what we do is valuable to, for you? The first thing, engagement. Mike had the networking slide up. I'll reinforce that. If there was one diagram, one takeaway, people like to take pictures of slides, okay? If there was one diagram, one takeaway that I would say represents the MER conference the best, it's this Venn diagram. Solution providers, speakers, and yes, attendees coming together. The key part here, the part that we believe we do very, very well, is the part in the middle where we all overlap. That's our focus. That's the connection. That's where the discussions happen. That's where the learning happens. And that's what it'll enable you to grab that one piece to bring back to your organization to learn. Our speakers. Our speakers are here not just because of their exquisite talent, their expertise, their, their thought leaders in the industry. They are here because of their passion and their ability to share those assets with you. There are many of them here are, are here all week. I invite you, and th they're wildly open to your meeting with them before, during, after their sessions. They tell me that they learn as much from you as you might learn from them, because it's your practical experiences that you're undergoing that inform them about what's going on as well. Similarly, our solution providers. Our solution providers, unlike you, that live in a deep understanding of what's going on in your organization, they have the value of a very broad experience of many, many, many organizations. This is the time for you to chat because you can learn from them, they can learn from you, there's discussion that occurs, there's some, they could say, someone I know down the road, different industry has a similar, uh, had a similar challenge, here's what they did, lots of learning takes place. So again, encouraged to meet and interact with the solution providers. And then, of course, the, the attendees, all of you who chose not to sleep in after watching Game of Thrones last night, but by the sounds of things, it didn't seem like that was a, a raucous uh, high priority for all of you, nor I. But our attendees, so I'm going to get to the second slide of only two that I would say I always use to discuss the MER conference. And that's this bell curve. I use this bell curve to characterize the mindset of the MER conference attendee. The bell curve from your right to your left measures the increasing ability or desire for you to pursue change. It's called the technology adoption curve and it's taught in business schools all over the world. But on the far right hand side are those who reject, refuse, hold back from change. As you move towards the left, you get into the conservatives, people who only very reluctantly accept change. And then as you crest over the top and down the other side, the people who are like, yeah, bring it on, let's do that. And then you get down into the uh, visionaries and innovators, the people who are here today looking for solutions because you know you, there's a problem, you know there's a gap, and you're here to find a solution for that. Or you're in the position where you know, I know stuff's changing and I have no idea what it is, but I'm going to hear and learn about some of those new things and bring back those solutions. So that's the second characterization of the uh, conference attendee. Speaking of that, you all have your smartphones with you. I'd like to engage you a little bit. A number of speakers are going to be doing polls with their phones. So you'll have a chance now to take out your smartphone 
And actually, if you open it up and go to the conference app, if you don't have your app loaded, that's okay. You can use the text feature on your phone and actually text your answers to the following two questions. So first, if you went to the app, polls is down there in the middle, and then the full poll questions will come up. So I invite you to do that. So the first question has to do with your experience here. Is this your first time? Were you here last year? Or it's been a few years. Once again, if you have the app on your phone, those are all right there available for you. If you don't yet have it, you can simply open up your phone and text a message to the number at the top, 415-653-7787, uh, and text your answer to that. I'm going to ask my technical colleague in the back to switch screens, and what's going to happen is together we're going to see the results of that. If you're still texting, the number will be available there. So here is what we have. So it looks like half of you are your first times. I was here last year, quarter a quarter. So if you haven't been here in a while, thank you for coming back. Hopefully you'll see and experience the transformation that we've talked about and the differences in how we're helping move along and engage in this very important topic of IG. I was here last year. Thanks for coming back. Hopefully we, did, we must have done something right to earn your trust to bring you back. So thank you for coming. And if this is your first time, one of two things happened. Either our marketing was good enough to convince you that we had something to say, or you had a colleague at your office who said, knock, 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 you ought to go to this thing. Either one is fine with me, but what I will ask you to do is to give us your feedback because we want to hear from you, the first time attender, as to how we did. Did we live up to the marketing hype or did we live up to the promise that your colleague gave you when they said you got to go to the MER conference? So let's have the, uh, so thank you all. The next slide, please, if you could return me, thank you. Uh, Professional organizations and associations are really important in the information governance community. They provide membership, leadership, affiliation, certifications. They do an awful lot. The MER conference is not, nor will be, an association. But it's important for us as we seek to serve you better that we understand the organizations and the associations that you most align yourself with. So, I've grabbed four of the common ones. There might be others in that case. Uh, none of the above works. But go ahead and vote which organization you most affiliate yourself with. And in doing that, I'll ask my colleague in the back to switch the screens over, and we'll see what the results look like. Hoorah. OK. So clearly, a lot of ARMA representation here. Thank you for coming. and. Thank you for giving us your trust and the opportunity to serve your needs. AIM, thank you. ACIDS, 1%, yes. <laughs> E-discovery, critical, and we're glad you're here. Thank you. Privacy, similarly, and a number of none of the above, which is interesting, almost 30%. Uh, so thank you for sharing that information. OK, if I could have my slide back, please. All right, what's new? There is an awful lot to talk about that's new this year versus last year. I'm going to focus on two things. The first one is MER Sapient, our webinar-based educational platform. We launched this last year in January, and at the time we launched it in January, we had the high hopes that we were going to do 10 webinars. By the time we were here, we had done five. We thought, we'll do five more, and we'll get as many as, oh, 2,000 people attending these webinars. What actually happened? Last year, we did 23 webinars. We reached over uh, 3,400 participants. And that's because of your uh, attraction and your ongoing participation and your spreading the word that the information that apparently we were putting out was good. And I say we, and I collectively say that because we had some of the best solution providers or talent out there. Many of our speakers put together some of these uh, webinars. So what's coming in the future? This year already, we're on pace to do over 40 webinars and engaging over 5,000 
people online. Again, this is a way that we can engage very cost effectively with new information from MER quality speakers and solution providers. The next event, Mike talked about it, is our relationship with Chicago ARMA chapter. Last year, we hosted a nice lunch downstairs on Wednesday of the MER. We got to know one another, turned this year into the ARMA Chicago chapter spring seminar at the MER. Wednesday morning, 8.30, we will be joined by as many as 100 additional people in this room who are coming for that event. Together, working together, we can share resources like this wonderful building in this space, incredible speakers, and uh, we can share in that. And it's kind of like a rising tide lifts all boats. Working together, we do, can do that. So in closing, my last point, value is very, very important to us. And if you were here last year, you'll recall this slide. Um, there's actually a mathematical equation that can quantify value. It was given to me by a clinical chemist one time years ago who said that the quality of the result times the improvements in time and delivering that divided by the cost equals quality. Translated to our application, any time Mike and I can improve the nature of the content that we deliver and we can deliver it to you more quickly in a way that's more actionable for you, that's the uh, numerator. We improve that. The algebraic equation results in higher value. Conversely, anytime we can deliver that quality and speed at a, fast, at a lower cost, it raises the algebraic result, raises value. It seems maybe a little quirky, but that's how we look at it. A new idea comes on the plate. We find out which one of these three levers are we improving. Is it better stuff? Is it getting there faster? Or is it costing us slash you less? And if it is, we move the idea forward. Forward in the end result of equipping all of you to ultimately um, more meaningfully impact the decisions that your organization has to make to achieve their business results. That's our goal. So I challenge you and ask you, find that one thing this week, maybe two, but find that one thing that you can bring back to your organization to make that, uh, make that difference. And with that, I'd like to say welcome, thank you, and have a magnificent conference. Thank you very much.